Good morning, morning musings by Melinda, the letter L today. Of course, the big word for the letter L is love. You know, I've been an evidential medium for almost 30 years. I've been studied by an ASU professor to see how my brain works. That's her whole life's work is about how brains work. And over this period of time, I've talked to many, many people on the other side. And you know, it's never anything that they've had that they regret, like they don't regret having, uh, you know, not the right car. They don't talk about how much money they accumulated because caskets don't have pockets. They don't talk about uh, their belongings other than in a sentimental way, like, oh, my grandson has such and such, or my ring was given to such and such. Sentimentally, it's not the belonging, it's the sentimental value. But what they do talk about is the love. They talk about if they didn't say, I love you enough, if they didn't show love enough, there's all kinds of love, you know, there's love of your animal, your dog, your cat, there's uh, love of your spouse, there's love of your children, your grandchildren. Right now, the big controversy is love of our country. I'm so sorry that our children are becoming collateral damage about how we love our country. But at any rate, love is the strongest emotion that connects between that side of the veil and this side of the veil. So the big word today is not only love others and do unto others as you would do unto yourself, which is the big, you know, spiritual rule. That's all it takes to be spiritual, but also to love yourself. Because when you don't love yourself, you project it out to others in, in jealousy and criticism and, and, and doing things that <clears throat> are inappropriate. So love is the big word today. Have a great day.